Okay, uh, today I'm going to talk about molar technique. Um, I'm going to talk about three different sizes of it. So there's the full molar. And then what I call snake molar. And then there's low molar. Okay, so starting with the big one. To start off, hold the stick down. Kind of chicken wing, right? Lift your elbow up. And then you drop your elbow, which flip, flips your wrist like this. All right, so chicken wing, flip wrist, hips down, let the stick bounce back up. All right, then you make a wrist hit, and then you hit while re chicken winging and then let the stick bounce back up and it starts the motion again. So you have slow motion. And then you build it up, stop over exaggerating motion. Now, we move on to the smaller one, the one I call snake molar. So this time, you start here again, and you'll wind up like this, and then you kind of strike forward, like wind up, push forward, strike, and then tap, and then pull back. So you start with you're here and you do wrist flip see back here like this push the wrist forward it bounces right and then you do a hit and then you hit while lifting back up to prepare to do it again so Slow motion. And that's that's kind of the one I use the most. Um, now, variations on that motion. Um, you could uh, do it just as two and get this uh, down up thing. I use that a lot on the on the hi hat, you know, and I don't know if you can hear. You can do it with no rebound at all in the air. It's basically uh, whichever direction this is, you get a hit when your wrist is bent weirdly forward like that, and then you get another hit here. So you just flip it, and then hit it. Flip. I'm gonna do this in slow motion. It's really hard to explain. You just kind of have to feel it. I, I don't really understand any way to uh, explain it. But you got that. And then you add the bounce in between. And you can also do it as fours where there's two bounces. So instead of one, two, or three, can do it as four. Uh, 
and then the low molar, it's basically a, a wrist turn. You're basically starting with the thumb up and ending with the uh, palms down. And you get a hit, hit, hit. And it also is kind of also done with like the first hit when you're down like this, the fingers are more open like that. And then you pull them in a little bit and then you pull in the fingers more for the last one. You can also do that in fours. And then both hands, unison, twos, threes, fours. Alternating. So those are the basics of molar. Um, I am just one person trying to explain it. It's uh, pretty hard to actually explain. So if that didn't make sense, um, I want to say... Uh, the places where I learned it from. First one, Jim Chapin, Speed, Power, Control, and Endurance. I have this dude on VHS. Came with a nice little book of exercises and everything. Um, it's on DVD now. You can still buy it. Um... Highly recommend this video. It's uh, another version of an explanation. Uh, Dave Weckl, How to Develop Technique. This video is amazing to me. He talks about um, another awesome thing, which is uh, how you hold the drumstick. Instead of holding it here, like normal people do, he holds it more here, and when you hold it there, the stick is free to bounce back this far, and then you get this more of a dribbling a basketball. <laughs> then going down, up, down, up, down, up, all with the wrist. It's more, uh, you're accepting the rebound. Also, of course, Jojo Meyer. This guy's ridiculous. I don't even know what else to say. It, like, in one scene in the video, he plays on a pizza for some reason to explain how awesome he is. Because he's an asshole. Because he's a god. Anyway, so those are three different explanations. And there's probably about... 75 other versions of explanations you can watch on YouTube without having to spend money on a produced video. So you can check all those out and uh, metal.